Okay, here, there's different ways to do this problem. You could use trig identities, but probably the easiest way is to locate the point 7, negative 3, which is in the fourth quadrant, which means that, well, I don't know if you've heard the memory device, all students take calculus, but what that means is that in the fourth quadrant, cosine and its reciprocal are positive. All the other trig ratios are negative in the fourth quadrant. And that's because this y-coordinate right here is negative. Uh, we use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of the hypotenuse. And then we use the fact that this angle has this reference angle. And the trig functions of the reference angle are the same as the trig functions of theta, which is this angle right here. Okay, so for the cosine, we want adjacent over hypotenuse, 7 over radical 58. We can rationalize that if we want. Secant is the reciprocal of cosine, so radical 58 over 7, and cotangent is adjacent over opposite, 7 over negative 3, or negative 7 thirds. And here is kind of proof that these answers are correct uh, using Desmos. We'll say theta is the angle that has a tangent of negative 3 sevenths, opposite over adjacent. And now we take the cosine of theta 1, gives us this value. And here is 7 radical 58 over 58. And you can double check the others to make see that indeed we have the correct values. Okay, so there you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.